Tonight, TMJ4 News is celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month by sharing one community member's diverse perspective. Maurizio Ramirez is wanted all over the country for his vibrant de depictions of humanity. From his tagging walls to now people paying him to beautify spaces with his geometric gems. And Maurizio's south side roots go deep and his imprint on Cream City, as you can see from all the places he's been. So I took a city tour with him and learned more about his inspiration and his connection to Milwaukee. So you really split your time between Milwaukee and Chicago, but you call Milwaukee home. Sure, of course. I think any place where you have your family and you have most of your artwork, you know, it's a very considerable home. I picked up a brush since I was like, you know, six, seven years old, but a spray can, you know, it held a little bit more talent, you know, so around like, 15, 16 years old. This, Maurizio, was one of the first pieces you were commissioned to do. Technically, it wasn't a commission. It was actually, uh, I took it upon myself to find this wall to create my own artwork. A lot of times, you know, these murals don't really exist anymore that tell stories of, you know, how beautiful our culture is. This image right here is an image of a Aztec uh, figure dancer kind of like posing like this. I caught him right when he was dancing and uh, I thought it was such a, you know, heroic, you know, pose that I kind of wanted to mirror it and kind of just make it a little bit more symmetrical, make it more interesting to look at. Some of the feathers kind of going uh, behind his head and everything else is just kind of like shadowed. Um, you know, I use a lot of dark tones to kind of just bring the viewer in. So when Milwaukee calls, you answer. Milwaukee showed me so much love since the moment I got here. No other city has really embraced me the way that Milwaukee has. Literally. Maurizio, I can't go to a corner without seeing your artwork, and it's amazing. I love it. Thank you. You know, Milwaukee has great architecture. This is great types of blank walls and just ready to be activated with paint. What I love about your work is the geometrical shapes. How did that come to be? It's very simple. I wanted to be different than any other artist that would try to create this mural. Most artists would create this mural that would look very literal, and that's its own skill set. I technically do everything on the mural on an iPad. I draw it out on the iPad digitally, and then once I have that done, and I project the image onto the wall, and then I trace the image in all the different triangles, and then after that, I just throw, go ahead and start just plugging in all the colors. So now we're on the south side, Maurizio, and, mm -hmm. and this is home for you. Yeah, this is exactly. Hey, how's it going, man? What up? <laughs> See, this is home for you. Yeah, for sure. And it's just something that uh, brings me back to my childhood. My family, my grandmother was one of the first Mexican families to come over here to the United States and, you know, establish themselves in a city like this. I think work should be site specific to where it exists. You know, we're here, the most densely populated area of uh, Latin Americans here in Milwaukee, and it needs to reflect that. And, you know, by creating images of like uh, flags that a lot of people associate themselves with, the Mexican flag, Puerto Rican flag, I think it's important to kind of have the people see themselves in the mural too. And so when you painted this wall, what was going on at that time? When I painted, we are all going through a difficult time. We were in the middle of the pandemic and I needed to create something that would pay homage to our frontline heroes, our nurses, healthcare workers. Did you ever think that you would go from a graffiti artist to now this muralist that's wanted all over the country? Did I expect myself to be painting murals up until I was 50, 60? Yes, I do. I was, I was in it. What do you want people to take away from your art? I want them to appreciate, you know, public art, you know, for what it is. I want them to be proud that Milwaukee has, you know, world-class art. Now, Maurizio also says that having his artwork displayed all over town gives his mom some bragging rights, knowing that her son's creativity can be seen every corner of our city.